Hello beautiful, welcome to today's video. So my background probably looks a little bit different because I'm trying something new. If you can give me some feedback, I would appreciate it because, you know, I like trying new things and all that good stuff. So today's video is going to be something more fun because I appreciate skin. I love seeing really beautiful bronze, glowy skin. And it's one of my favorite things that I like to do because skin is very beautiful. I love skin. I appreciate it. And I actually want to show my routine. So I'm going to clip my hair back and we'll get started. Okay, so I have already sprayed my Smashbox primer water. This one's a really great primer for just making your makeup last a longer period of time. And I'm actually going to be applying the Becca Backlight Prim Priming Filter. This stuff is great. I use one pump, so I usually put it on my cheekbones. Even though it is a primer, I still like to put it on more glowy parts of my face. And then I put it on the temples. The rest, I just put it all around my face. So one thing I love doing with my moisturizers and any other things is always blending it out with a brush. So I just, I blend it out, spread it out a little bit. And that product is amazing for those days that you do not really want to put on a lot of makeup you just want to look very fresh and dewy very pretty okay so now that i have that all over my skin i want to apply my foundation and one that is beautiful and it just makes your skin look amazing is the milani conceal and perfect i use the shade number four this stuff is amazing stuff so if you can buy it, go ahead, try it out because it is really great and it just makes your skin look like skin. Um, I use about 75% of one pump because I feel like one pump is a lot for me. So I just want to, you know, not put too much product on my skin because I still want to look really bronzy, really pretty, um, natural. I don't want to have too much product on my skin just because um, and then the same thing just rub it, rub it in with a brush I just spread it out evenly all over my skin and then I go with the beauty blender and pick up any of the excess product so if you notice I don't put too much product on my forehead it's just one place that I don't like applying too much product I don't know why I always notice my forehead everywhere <laughs> Maybe that's why. Okay, then I just use my NYX Beauty Blender and I just blend all of it out just to pick up anything. Okay, so usually when I do finish that, I go right to concealer. I use the Maybelline Fit Me in number 25 medium. I love this stuff. I usually pick it out. Like, I even put my shape tape on the side when I use this, like... My shape tape is really nice, like you've probably seen it all over YouTube. It's a great concealer, but sometimes I just feel like it's way too much. And this concealer right here, the Maybelline one, is so beautiful. It looks natural. It doesn't look too full coverage. And the purpose of a concealer, it is to cover up your dark circles, but I still want to, you know, have a little bit of darkness show a little bit through. It's just... When people see you without makeup, they can really tell that you've used a lot of concealer. And, you know, I just want to enhance what is already there. So once my concealer is on, the next thing I usually do is set it. And this stuff is amazing. It's the next HD Finishing Powder in Banana. This stuff is great. It's a yellow tone. And I like that it's thin. It's not too thick. You don't want anything too thick. And... I just set that all over my skin. I use my sponge too. I don't use the baking technique. Um, I just set my face. I'm very old school with that stuff. <laughs> the baking may work for some people, but for my skin, I use, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. You know what I mean? Okay, so usually then I take a powder. Um, I have a lot of powder foundations because when I'm not wearing a liquid, this is the first liquid foundation I've ever liked. I'll be completely honest. Um, 
and then I usually just stick to powders. So I have many different options. I have the Cover FX one, NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, Maybelline Better Skin, Cover Girl Outlast All Day. I have several that make the make my skin look nice, and that's what I'm aiming for, something to make my skin look awesome. I usually use the BH Cosmetics Vegan 2. I believe they're called vegan brushes, the Vegan 2 something like that and these are really great so I grab a little bit of product and what I do is I just do circular motions just gently tap just to set my skin and I put a little bit on my forehead just because I do get oily there okay so now I go to my favorite part of this whole foundation routine and it is bronza I love bronzer. Like, I have a collection of bronzers. I'm probably going to show you my collection because I adore bronzers. I feel like that can make your skin look much more alive. It gives you more definition in your skin. It makes your cheekbones pop out. It makes everything pop out. It just, it brings life to the skin and it makes you look more bronzy. So I usually like taking a matte bronzer before anything and I love the NYX matte bronzer in medium. I use this in almost every video but it is one of my favorite bronzers. It's a really great dupe for the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced and yeah. So what I do is I just apply a little bit and just pounce it on my skin. I like to start off with a matte bronzer just because it sets a bit of a base for when you bring in shimmer. So I usually apply that all over my skin. Then I go in with my favorite bronzer that has some shimmer in it. It is the Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder in Bali Brown. So this one's really beautiful. It is amazing. It makes your skin look very, very bronze. A little bit of shimmer. Not too much. This is great for the summertime, things like that. My skin is already looking very matte and bronzy, which I like because here in Texas it gets really hot and you can get sweaty just like that. So, just letting you know that. After this, I usually apply some kind of illuminator or any kind of uh, highlight because I love highlight. It's such a beautiful thing to put on your skin to just bring more youth. Bronzer and highlight are a beautiful combination because that can make your skin look truly more alive. Just you look more awake. It's indescribable what it does. It can make your skin look very, very refreshed, like very beautiful. I take a BH Cosmetics the Rose Quartz set. I use the number three and I'm going to be taking the Estee Lauder Heat Wave. This one just relaunched. I'm not sure if they still have it, but it is a beautiful, pretty, pretty, pretty highlighter. So I just take a little bit and I just apply it like the little C shape here. And it can really just bring a whole look together, a bronzy really glowy look which is super beautiful so I don't go extreme with my highlighter I never do just because I am a more of a realistic person I like when people see me in real life and uh, they appreciate your makeup rather than uh, you know notice it a lot I'm just very you can say natural with my application. I don't want too many people noticing my makeup. That's just me. I admire other women, but I have seen a lot of shaming with makeup, so usually this is what I do with my skin. Um, I absolutely love, you know, taking care of my skin like this and making it look very dewy. So one thing that y'all are probably wondering is if I apply blush. So usually in the summertime, I might ap apply blush. And one of them that is super beautiful, I purchased it like around December time. It is the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in Sparkling Bellini. This looks beautiful for the summertime. It just makes you look very rosy, very beautiful. And I just take my Real Techniques blush brush. I love this brush also for bronzer. So 
I just apply a little bit and a little bit on the tip of my nose so I can look like I was in the sun all day, you know, just getting really, really glowy and stuff. Then if I just want to keep this all about skin, I just apply my matte bronzer in my crease and I just take my Wet n Wild crease brush and I just apply a little bit on my crease. Okay, and then I just apply my mascara, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Okay, so I've already applied mascara, and the one thing I love is glossy lips for, you know, just to make everything look very refreshed and very bronzy. So I usually take a bronze kind of lip gloss like this one. This one's the Dior uh, number... 227 or this Dior 576 so I usually like taking shades like this both of them just make your your lips look very plump very pretty very refreshed it makes all the look come together I'm going to be applying the Dior um, number 227 on my lips and this can just bring the whole look together so thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun filming it because it's something that I love to do, which is make my skin look very glowy, very bronze. It's one of my favorite products for the face. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're having an amazing day. And until next time, I'll see you then.